Good morning, everybody. It's Father Wilson here on um, Saturday, May 9th. Um, we're continuing our, our conversation about uh, the servant God, Mary Teresa Talon. And, and we're finally really where I, I wanted to be in this series, which is um, talking about her, her words themselves. Um, there is, uh, her, her daily conferences uh, to her, her sisters once the... Um, the parish visitors were finally founded in, in 1920. It was a, a real uh, spiritual treasure. Um, they, they have been published, but uh, in, in a very limited um, printing a long time ago. And I, I'd, I'd love to see these, uh, these conferences um, come to a wider circulation because they're a, they're a great treasure. You can, you can really see in them the, the depth of her spiritual insight and her and just her simplicity of expression uh, is something that would be a, a great gift to the church. And um, the um, one of her one of the things she expresses beautifully over and over again in her talks to her sisters is the um, the the great value of human souls, um, the the immortality of the soul, the the importance that that soul would um, spend eternity with God instead of um, the opposite. And she said that this is the reason for our society. It's to go and seek the lost. And she has, has a beautiful way of expressing um, how, important, how important it is to, 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 to find and, and to save lost souls. And this is the way she puts it. Um, she says, we measure the value of the thing purchased by the price that is paid for it. And as a general rule, people estimate at small worth the thing that is bought for a low price. So if persons knew of an object worth in price the whole world for its purchase, they would consider this thing most precious indeed. And if they knew that nothing less than heaven and earth were paid for it, their idea of its value would grow beyond the conception of the human mind. But this is, in fact, the value of the human soul. Because, as she, she goes on, our Lord Jesus Christ, God incarnate, is worth more than the value of the whole world. And his, his estimates are of all values are those of a God mind. He looked at the human soul of man, and he estimated what it would be worth. It would be worth his life, and even the sacrifice of that life, through ign an ignominious death, all that in order to save this soul, and to make it sure of eternal happiness. Right? So, one human soul is worth more than the whole world, because that one human soul was worth the life of our incarnate God. You know, th th this is, I mean, it's so simple when you hear it put that way, but this, this is, uh, I mean, if we, if we acted like we believed that, um, we would set the world on fire. And, and this is the, the spirit that Mother Mary Teresa tried to instill in her, in her sisters, that, you know, when you're, when you're, when you're going out, uh, you are seeking souls for Christ, and and keep keep your focus on that great good, uh, especially because you'll have to overcome difficulties in order to pursue it. Um, you'll have to, right? You know, you're you're knocking on doors of people who might not be expecting you, and like, hey, you're like, what are what 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 are these sisters doing at my door? Like, that's this is weird. I didn't I didn't ask them to be here. Um, and so, like, there, there, there's going to be that resistance, that opposition, that coldness. Um, but, you know, if you actually value their souls, value their souls because of what those souls are worth to, to Jesus Christ, um, that's going to be seen. That's going to be known. Like, it, it, people are going to experience in you the a love that is greater and purer than, than most of the loves they've experienced. And that, that, that can actually start to break down those walls in their hearts. And this is what these sisters experienced 
on a, on a day-to-day basis as they were committing themselves to this work. Uh, but it's also why um, Mother Talon insisted that her sisters be contemplatives. She insisted that they, they spend um, great effort and, and um, a great uh, sacrifice of time simply in quiet prayer with our Lord. Because, you know, they, they, they would never possibly get a sense of the value of those other souls if they didn't uh, spend that time knowing themselves, our Lord Jesus Christ's um, value of their own souls. His love for them um, is is what they were then able to pursue in you know their love for the lost. Um, so this this is the zeal for souls uh, that Mother Mary Teresa Talon um, labored so hard to in, instill in the, the women who followed her, and it's uh, that 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 same zeal that that we should be praying for in our own hearts and our own lives as well. And then to the extent that we, we welcome uh, that zeal, um, our Lord will use us uh, to bring many, many souls to him. God bless you guys. I'll see you tomorrow.